My name is Peg Dunham. I'm the Manager of Education at the Stratford Perth Museum. Welcome to the Museum Television. Today we're going to kick this off with some never before seen Justin Bieber items. Wow! So, you ready? Okay. So I'm sitting here in the Justin Bieber exhibition and everything is on loan from his grandparents or Justin himself or his mom. And there's so much that we have, we can't possibly have it all out on the floor. And sometimes if you come to the museum to see the Bieber exhibition, you might get a back, oh, I guess backstage or a little sneak peek in our collections room of some of the objects that are not out on the floor. But because of COVID, oh. we're just not getting to see your beautiful faces as much as we would love or as much as we would like. So I'm gonna bring the secret beeper stuff to you, starting with some of his jerseys. Okay, so you ready? Here's my special Justin Bieber suitcase. It isn't really a Justin Bieber suitcase. Okay, don't peek. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so here is the first never before seen Justin Bieber. Never before seen Justin Bieber. Okay, can you guess what team this is? Chicago Blackhawks. Yes, love Chicago. So this was given to Justin with his very special number six and his name. And of course he has also autographed it. So the number six is the number that Justin always requests to have on jerseys that are given to him because number six was his number that he had on his minor league hockey team in Stratford. Wow. The, the Stratford Warriors, and so he always requests to have the number six. So there you go, a real live Blackhawks jersey, Chicago. Okay, item number two. Oh, oh, representing Canada. <laughs> a Blue Jays baseball jersey. I wonder what's on the back. <sighs> Numero six. Oh no, wait, that's not how you say six in Spanish. Anyway, Justin Bieber, go Blue Jays. So that's pretty cool, official. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, <laughs> okay, so this is a Dolphins um, jersey, which I believe is a football team, Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. And unlike um, the other jerseys that we have in our collection, this is actually a gift to Justin. So Justin did not autograph it. It is autographed by this fella. Chad Henney. <laughs> and as you can see really closely to Justin from this fella. Chad Henney. <laughs> Dolphins, Miami. Wow, cool. Okay. And lastly, for our never before seen Justin Bieber object is... So guys, this is from Justin Bieber's My World Tour, and this belongs to his granddad. And this t-shirt was given to everybody who had access backstage. And so if you didn't have this t-shirt on and you were backstage, out you go, out the exit, goodbye. So here you go, this is it. Isn't it crazy? It's so Halloween-y. Yeah, kind of creepy. Oh, smells, smells good. There you go, my world tour. Okay, lucky you. Not everybody gets to be so lucky. Wow. So to end this never before seen Justin Bieber Museum Television, 
we're gonna end it with a fan note. We get thousands and thousands of letters in the mail to the museum from Justin Bieber fans from all over the world. And I'm gonna read you one. So I've got this box filled with letters. And I'm just, look at this one, it has lips. Oh my gracious. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna pull one out and, oh, oh my. Okay, no? <laughs> no, hang on. Here we go, all right. Here, Justin Bieber, oh boy, okay. Cute, let's read it. Um, okay, so, dear Justin Bieber, um, my name is Hannah, I'm 13 years old. I know I'm probably not your biggest fan, Hannah. I don't have very many posters of you. I have a couple of your books. I never got to go to any of your concerts. You really inspire me to follow my dreams and never stop trying. I would really appreciate it if you would just read this letter. Hannah, that's what we're doing. I would love it if you could write back or just give me a poster with your signature, but I know you're really busy, so that's okay if you don't. I listen to your music all the time. Well, I just thought it'd be cool to send you a letter. Super cool. If you ever have time, it would be cool if you would look my family up on YouTube. It was me a long time ago. I think I look ridiculous. I was like 10 years old. Well, thanks for reading this. It would mean a lot if you write back or even give me a poster. Thanks a lot. Aw, Hannah. That's so sweet. And I can tell you, this was sent to us. Oh, what? 2011. So Hannah is probably um, now probably in her 20s. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.